charmed. I'm with Spock, as always. Hey guys, today we're checking out Star Trek, the original series from the 1960s, and I'm gonna do the top 10 episodes as voted by you guys. All right. I wonder what we're doing. A Season minute. two. A minute. It's Spock. Have you noticed anything strange about him? Well, he's a strange fellow in general. He's become increasingly restive, if you and he hasn't eaten at all in three days. Sounds like Mr. Spock in one of his phases. McCoy? Uh, Captain. Captain? Oh, Vulcan Plumic soup. Delicious. Spock hasn't been eating, just happened to notice. When I suggested to Spock his routine checkup, your logical first officer said, Cease to pry, or I shall certainly break your neck. He said that? I want anything from you, I'll ask for it. <gasps> He's angry. I request a leave of absence yeah. on my home planet. What's going on? What is this all about? Something personal. Yes or no? Yikes. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da. Space. Space. I really love this theme. Ba -ba. Seek out is this different? Is it always different? I don't remember a voice before. So triumphant. I really love it. A mock time. Am I saying that right? A mock time. Mock time. Well, we time traveled in the last one, so. It is undignified. For a woman, I did not I'm more interested in your request for Shirley. She just brought you soup, Will you man. Will it or not? What is this deal? Well, you've never asked for a leave of any sort. Why not? He's never gotten angry and thrown his soup, I bet. Just ask him, are you all right? Illness in the family. No. Nothing of that nature, Captain. That's what I thought, too. Like maybe his mom is sick. We're headed for Altair 6. No, I must... Dun, dun, dun. I wish to take my leave on Vulcan. Hmm. What's wrong? Accept that answer. She doesn't want to say. Alter course to Vulcan to warp four. Aye, sir. Warp. Thank you, Captain. Even Vulcans aren't indestructible. Ba, 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 ba. Nobody cleaned up that soup. No. Oh, this music. Ba, ba. Oof. We're not. What's happening to him? First Officer Spock seems to be under stress. Yeah. Priority and urgency. Put it on audio. Maybe I would be a red guy. Hmm. ceremony has been advanced seven solar days. We'll have to head directly there. Insufficient time to stop off at Walken. President of Altair wants to get himself launched a week early, so we have to be there. I'll see that you get your leave as soon as we're finished. Is he gonna make it? Captain. He is acting weird. Something's going on aboard the Enterprise. Bridge. Check off here. Like check off. Will we arrive if we increase speed and divert to Vulcan? We're on course for Vulcan, Captain. Mr. Spock ordered. Huh? Mr. Spark. He ordered them to change course? Come with me, please. Uh-uh. Ooh, the guitar in this one. And the... The... You changed course. Do you deny it? Does he not remember? It is quite possible. I do not know why, nor do I re remember doing it. Can't remember. Captain, lock me away. I do not wish to be seen. Cannot explain further. I'm trying to help you. This is very unsettling. To the sick bay. Sick bay. The the woodwinds here are making me very unsettled. They have not stopped. I feel like this is how Spock feels. <laughs> I feel like he probably should have walked him down to the sick bay. Where is he going? Come in, Spock. I'm all ready for you. My orders were to report to sick bay, and now I'll go to my quarters. <laughs> Come on, Spock. Yield to the logic of the situation. Examine me. That's a good way to appeal to him. Shaking. Is it normal sometimes for Vulcans to do this? First we got to Vulcan. Now we're headed back to Altair. I think I'm going to get spacey. You've got to get Spock to Vulcan. As soon as this mission is completed... No! He's a mission guy. We learned that in the last episode. If you don't get him to Vulcan within a week, he'll die. What? Why? Why? Die. What does he have? Why? Dun, dun, dun. Why? Why? Yeah, 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 explain. Within eight days. Explain. I don't know. But are you a doctor, aren't you? Uh, Growing imbalance of body function. 
Now, I can't trace it down. Spock won't tell me what it is. Physical and emotional pressures will kill him. Yikes. You're convinced he knows what it is? He's Why won't he say? about it as an Aldebaran shell mount. An Aldebaran shell mount? I don't know what that is. He must talk. We must know. Who is this child? The guitar is a very interesting choice in this episode. McCoy says you're going to die unless something is done. What? Is it something only your planet can do for you? Would seem so. He's got the shakes. You've been called the best first officer in the fleet. That's yeah. an enormous asset. And he's a if friend. I, lose that, I want to know why. Come on, spill it. Spill it, Spock. There's a thing no outworlder may know. Here we go. Except those who have been involved. It is a deeply personal thing. Can you see that, Captain? Yeah. Explain. Consider that an order. There are some things which transcend the service. Such as? Treat this as confidential. Come on, spill it, spill it, spill it. He's going to tell us. Biology. 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 Biology of Vulcans? Reproduction? <gasps> Does he have to go reproduce? There's no need to be uh, embarrassed. He just, like, uh, needs to go mate so he's all agitated? <laughs> Is that it? Logic. Ripped from them as dust to us. He must go mate now. How do Vulcans choose their mates? Haven't you wondered? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess quite logically. Yeah, I, I would assume that. Maybe it's done more biologically. No, we shield it with a ritual shrouded ritual. in antiquity. Creepy. You humans have no conception. It strips our minds from us brings a madness, rips away our civilization. The time of mating. Time of mating. <laughs> there are precedents in nature, Captain. The salmon must return to that one stream to spawn. Oh, wow. Die in trying. That's not what I thought this was. I'm a Vulcan. I am a Vulcan. A horny Vulcan. We are driven by forces we cannot control. In your pants. And take a wife. Huh. Wow. Okay. Have fun, old boy. I haven't heard a word you've said. He's so ashamed. I'll get you to Vulcan. Uh -huh. Give me Admiral Comac at Starfleet Command. You don't think maybe you ought to plot a course back for Vulcan. Yeah. Because it's party time on Vulcan. Just playing some instruments. Whoa. Making the most unusual request. You must give me permission to divert. The Altair 6 is no ordinary matter. He should just say he's sick and he has to go home. We will stabilize the entire Altair system. Believe Kirk, you will proceed to Altair 6 as ordered. Starfleet out. He's gonna go anyway. That's that. I know the Altair situation. We would be one of three starships. It's simply not that vital. Yeah, it's just not vital. I agree. And I can't let Spock die, can I, Volt? And he will. If we go to Altair, I owe my life a dozen times over. He's in trouble. He needs to go home. Get laid. He's my friend. Bridge, navigation. Lay in a course for Vulcan. Push her for all she'll take. Where's Vulcan. she going? I see. Bones hasn't said anything. Miss Chapel. I had a most startling dream. You were trying to tell me something. It would be illogical if you protest against our natures. Are they about to hook up? I don't understand. Your face is wet. We are bound for Vulcan. Vulcan, would you make me some of that lo make soup? I'd be very glad to do that. Well, she sure does like him. Bow, bow. Is he only allowed to mate with other Vulcans? I would assume that is what they want. You've surmised my problem, Doctor. He guessed there it. There is a thing that happens to Vulcans. What? Would you stand with me? There is a brief ceremony. By tradition, the male is accompanied by his closest friends. That's nice. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Also request McCoy. Best friends. Oh my god, best friends. Okay. Yay. We're standing by. I like that. Healing. From all of Vulcan, welcome. Beam them down. Stand by to activate your central viewer, please. Is it soup for the road or what? It is I. Is that his wife? Never and always touching, we meet at the appointed place. Never and always. I await you. She's lovely, Mr. Spock. She is. I think that's his wife. She is my wife. Oh. Spock has a wife. Well, Christine, Mr. Shot. 
I run Vulcan, cool. Cool, 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 cool. He brought his bros. Wow. Perilous. Wow. This is the land of my family. In the distant past, Vulcans killed to win their mates. Perhaps the price they pay for having no emotions. I wish the breeze mm. were cooler. Yeah, hot as Vulcan. Yeah, hot as Vulcan. Romantic. The spring arrives. The marriage party approaches. I hear them. Less than a marriage, but more than a betrothal. One mm. touches the other. Feel each other's thoughts. Mind melt? Our minds were locked together. We would both be drawn to Kunut Khalifi. Doing it. Well, marriage, I guess. Oh boy. Vulcan marriage ceremony. I can't believe we're just watching Spock get married right now. You know who that is? Who? Spock's mom? The only person to ever turn down a seat in the Federation Council. Ah. He never mentioned that his family was this important. Like the Emperor? Does he have like parents? Wow. So cool. Spook. They are my friends. I am permitted this. I gave them outworlders friends. She is not amused. How does the pledge? With best what friends about to see comes down from the time of the beginning this cool. is the Vulcan heart carry far we are about to see some rituals here Kalifi. what you doing what's happening what is it? What happened? She chooses the challenge. With him? She will choose her champion. What? Do not attempt to speak with him, Kirk. Kirk. He is deep in the blood fever. The Until blood fever. Past what is to come. Huh. We may leave now. Oh, they're not going anywhere. We'll stay. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to say that she rejected him? He will have to fight for her. Why? Why? She just wants to see some heroics. The challenge. Become the property of the victor. I am prepared. She will be the property of the victor. Does he accept according to our laws? Well, he has to. He has the blood fever. Thanks, ah! Spock can take him. That guy? Well. I'm down it. You will choose thy champion. Ah! I make my choice. She wants this jump? This one. <gasps> No, I am to be the one. It was agreed. I have made the ancient claim. She can't choose Kirk? Kirk. Kirk. We are free to decline. Oh, my friend does not understand. The choice has been made. It is up to him now. I will do what I must, but not with him. He is my friend. Are the Vulcan or are the human? Thee has the power. Forbid. I plead. Does he also have a human mother in this series? It is decided. Or is he fully Vulcan? What is gonna happen here? Ba -ba! What happens to Spock if I decline? Another champion will be selected. Do not interfere. That chump? Can't do it, Jim. If I can knock Spock out without really hurting him, the heat doesn't get you, the thin air will. So he's gonna fight him and just try to knock him out. You can't do it. You can't do it. Jim, listen, if you Bones. All of Vulcan in one pack. How can I back out in front of her? Oof, those things are noisy. Kirk, decide. Kirk, it is time. I accept the challenge. It's not a fight to the death, though, right? Here begins the act of combat. So it is now. What is this? Like a weapon? <gasps> and has he just got the blood fever and won't even really recognize? Is he going for blood here? Yeah, no, there's no just knocking him out. If both 
survive the Lurper. Uh, what do you mean? This combat is to the dead. Yeah, you probably should have asked that first. Yeah, you're effed. You're screwed. All right, all right. They're fighting to the death. Okay, crap. Now, wait a minute. Now, uh, wait, 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 wait a second. I can forgive such a display only once. Oh, zip it. Let no one in- Always ask if it's to the death before you accept the challenge. What's gonna happen? Ba -ba -ba -ba. <gasps> oh. I mean, can he just use his Vulcan pinch on him? I guess I was kind of curious who would win in a fight between Kirk and Spock. Oh, we're about to find out. Oh boy. I would have thought Spock was much stronger. He seems bigger, but I guess not. Spock! No! Dude! Rika. The air's too hot and thin for Kirk. He's not used to it. What can be done? so bloody. I can compensate. So presumably... We may proceed. I mean, they're pretty evenly matched now, but Kirk is, like, not handling it well, so he's probably stronger. You're gonna have to kill him, Joe. I have I don't... That's not what we came to Vulcan for, is it? We'll help you breathe. Be careful. Sound medical advice. <laughs> bum, bum. What are these, more weapons? Round two. And what kind of weapons are these? Oh boy. Well, Spock has the advantage. He obviously knows what these weapons are. I don't want them to fight. I think McCoy's gonna jump in there. Knock him out. <laughs> Not that goals. <laughs> I mean, this girl's really the worst. He's choking him, he's choking him. Bum bum. No. She just looks pleased. Off of him, Spock. No, no, no. He's not dead. No, that's impossible. It's finished. He's dead. Ah, uh, what? Well, that settles the question. I guess Spock would win in a fight. I agree with the. No, you don't. Have the transporter room stand by to beam up the landing party. Is he really dead? That's impossible. You're in command now. Oh, yeah, true. I'll follow you up, but of course, for the nearest star base, where I must surrender myself. For murder. Didn't he know this might happen? I mean, I guess he just thought he was going to marry that girl. Explain. Yeah. Why the challenge? Stan wanted me. I wanted him. But she didn't choose him. I see no logic preferring Stan over me. <laughs> you have become What's he got that I don't got? People sparked. I did not want to be the consort of a legend. If your captain were Victor, he would not want me. And so I would have Stan. You would free me because I had dared to challenge. But if you did not free me, I would have your name and your property. And Stan would still be there. Wow, she really thought it all through. Logical. It is logical, but it's the worst. She is yours. Having is not so pleasing as wanting. I think that was a burn, kind of. You're not gonna want her eventually, now that you can have her. Live long and prosper, Spock. I shall do neither. I have killed my captain. And best friend. And my friend. Yeah. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. That's not the end of the episode, right? No. Cause he's not dead, he can't be dead. Okay, okay, get back to the ship. Where, what is going on with, with with Kirk. A Spock. So I would appreciate Spock I doctor, please. Is he alive? Is he alive? Is that what he's gonna say? Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. I mean I I'm sure he had to be. I knew it, but don't you think you better check with me first? Woo. Captain. Look at that grin. Oh, a little display of emotion there. That was a genuine smile. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am at something of a loss to understand it. Blame McCoy. <gasps> the Oh He slipped in a neural paralyzer. Simulated death. Bones, the real MVP. Spock, what happened down there? The girl, the wedding. When I thought I had killed the captain, I had lost all interest in Trepreng. Yeah, nothing uh, like the death of your best friend to kill the mood. Diversion of Enterprise hereby approved. Yeah. Well, well, well there you go. Seeing it our way. 
lay in a course for Altair 6. Kirk out. Kirk out. That you weren't on the verge of giving us an emotional scene. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He saw it too. Relief that Starfleet had not lost in Captain. Your reaction was quite logical. Thank you, Doctor. And a pig's eye. <laughs> Starting on a planet here? The Halcon Council cannot permit your Federation to mine dilithium crystal. We have shown the Council that our missions are peaceful. Our dilithium crystals represent awesome power. What is happening? Even to the extent of... He looks handsome. ...life. To prevent that, we would die, Captain, if necessary. Enterprise. Look at this cell phone thingy. Report on magnetic storm. Standard ion type, Captain. Well. Plot and extend it over to clear disturbance. Kirk out. Kirk out. I want to start ending my phone calls that way. Jen out. You do have the might to force the crystals from us, but we won't. He will not. Consider that. Enterprise. Beam them. Transport room energized. Energize. We're right in the middle of a story here. I wonder if we're going to jump back in time. Can they now come back? <gasps> they can't energize. They can't beam up. Is it the dilithium crystal? What is this? Spock with a goatee! What is happening? Spock with a goatee is blowing my mind right now. Mr. Kyle, we're instructed to compensate during the ion storm. But Mr. Spock, your I'm agonizer. Trying. No, Mr. Spock. Your agonizer, please. What's he doing? I tried, I really tried. Is he gonna hurt him? They've gone into a mirror dimension. That has to be it. The ship went like this. Spock's killing people. Space. The vital frontier. Okay, well, that's the most shocking opening yet, I think, that I've seen. Maybe it's the dilithium crystal. A mirror dimension. We went Enterprise. back in time. Now we're doing mirror dimensions. You to seek out new life. Go where no man has gone before. Very good. Mirror, mirror. It has to be mirror dimension. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna nerd out on this one. Scott. Okay, he didn't kill him, but he did something to him. Mr. Spock. Yes. The power beam jumped for a moment, sir. Due to your error, Mr. Kyle? No, Mr. Spock. You feel any abnormal effects? Only the sash. Yeah, Dr. McCoy, you better look us over. That was a rough beam up. I'll say. I wonder what else is different. What is all this? How did we do this? Yeah, shush. So they're the same. The Enterprise and the crew are all a mirror, but this landing party is the same with changed clothes. It's our Enterprise. Yeah, but? What is it? And you'll feel dizzy. Yes. Yeah. I first materialized? I did. It happened twice. First, we were in our own transporter chamber, and then we faded. When we finally materialized, we were here, wherever this is. Right. The transporter lock might have been affected by the ion storm. We just materialized somewhere else. Yes, here. But where? Not our universe, Ooh. not our ship, something parallel. Parallel, parallel universe, coexisting with ours. Oh, cool. Everything's duplicated. Uh -huh. If we're here, then, then there, our there. counterparts must have been transporting up. I wonder if they're going to show the other ship. Similar there. storms on both universes. It's swapped We're up. here and there <gasps> on our enterprise. What about the Hawkins? We can't let them be destroyed. Scotty, can you buy me some time? Short out the main phaser couplings. They'll think the storm oh. blew the standby, sir. Then get on this That's technology. Smart. It's all we have to work with if we want to get back home. The intercom may be monitored. Use your communicators for private messages. Run today's communication from Starfleet Command. She's so beautiful. Captain, I, I'm... Is she all right? Does she not feel good? Well, who are you? The only one who can do it. I'll be right there. Do they have chemistry? Captain Kirk is quite dashing, I will say. What does he want? Still no interest in her. I could change your mind. You are away from your post, mister. Yeah. Is the captain here? Is Spock here? Is he a jerk in this dimension? How dare you? Not a huge fan of that salute. No storm damage, sir? You're ordered to annihilate the Hawkins unless they comply. Bum, bum, bum. Hazers locked on target A, Captain. Approaching optimum range. 
I, uh, in order to uh, Linden. face her couplings for possible damage by the storm, I'll have to check with security chief Sulu. Oh, never mind. I'll attend to it. Sneak in. Laser report, sir. No damage. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Oh, the bass clarinet. Woo. Lock on to secondary city. I do not like him with the goatee. He looks evil. Contact the Hawken Council. I wish to talk to them again. Yes, sir. They offer other things of value besides dilithium crystals. We cannot expect their cooperation. Command procedure dictates that we provide the customary example. Would the other Captain Kirk that they're used to have just killed them? I have the leader of the Hawken Council waiting on Channel B. It is useless to resist us. You have 12 hours to consider your position. We are ethically compelled to deny your demand, for you would use their power to destroy. We'll level your planet and take what we want. You will die as a race. To preserve what we are. Willing to die for it. Whew. 12 hours, Captain. That is unprecedented. Mm, the other guy would have just like shot, I see. Oh, this music's giving me shivers. It's so low. Ah. What's he up to? Deck five, sir. He's suspicious. Oh! Yeah, look! So you die, Captain, and we all move up in the rain. Ah! Uh, this crew is awful! That's a weapon. Just zapped him. No man, Captain. Easy, Farrell. I did your job. Smart boy. Switching to the top dog. Get him out of here. Mr. Chekhov is going to make me a chief, sir. You could make me an officer. All right. You're working for me. You're in line. You might even make captain. Maybe if he dies. I'm on my ship. The officers move up by assassination. Chekhov tried to... That's crazy. A security chief, like the ancient Gestapo. The Gestapo? To report on technology. Mostly variations in instrumentation. Everything's exactly when it should be. Except us. How did they get back? Let's find out where we stand. Record security research to be classified under my voice print or oh, Mr. Scott. Correlate following hypothesis. Could a storm of such magnitude cause a power surge, creating interdimensional contact with a parallel universe? Interdimensional contact with a parallel universe? <laughs> this is so cool. And the act of beaming transpose with their counterparts in the other universe. Affirmative. Could conditions be created artificially to using put them the back? ship's power? Affirmative. Affirmative. They must create an ion storm. Procedure. They might need a dilithium crystal. Scotty, can you do it? I'll have to tap the power we need from the warp engines and balance it for the four of us. We have to lay in the automatic transporter setting. When we interrupt engine circuits, it'll show up on Sulu's security board. Of course. So they won't have much we'll only time. Need a second. I'll tell Uhur to create a diversion to distract Sulu's attention. We better get back to our posts. Keep me advised. If we're here, what do you suppose our counterparts are doing? Right, the evil guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably just causing havoc on the real Enterprise. Four of you will remain here in the brig until I discover how to return you to wherever it is you belong. Okay, he understands what's happening. What kind of a uniform is this? There's not even a sash. Where's my personal guard? Apparently, some kind of transposition has taken place. I find it extremely interesting. Same. I'm with Spock. I'm always with Spock. Oh, McCoy, smooth. That was really smooth. for about six hours. Is that a lady? Hello. I fell asleep. Is he gonna go for it? Champagne? You're still in trouble with Starfleet Command. What you've got in mind this time is beyond me. You must know what you're doing. You always do. If I'm to be the He's one... gonna go for it, I think. Can't I know what you're up to? Went in another dimension. Kirk here. Mr. Spock, Captain. I received a private communication. This uniform's so shiny. Command. I am committing a breach of regulations by informing you. Ooh, do tell. Yes, Mr. Spock. I am instructed to wait to permit you to carry out our mission. If I don't, I am ordered to kill you. Yep. Even the evil Spock, I think, is friends with Kirk. Otherwise, why would you tell him? Let's drink a toast to Spock. The only man aboard with the decency to warn you. Shall I activate the Tantalus field? The Tantalus field? Yes. Does he know what it is, or is he just waiting to see? I hate this thing. It's not that bad. Of course not. It made you captain. How many enemies have you simply wiped out of existence by the touch of a button? Killing machine? A that magnificent mind of his. But it can't protect him from this. 
The killing button. I press it, and he dies. Now. Not so bad. He can't kill his best friend, even if he's evil with a terrible goatee. We have to get out of here within three hours. Spock has orders to kill me. We've got another deadline too, sir. The two-way matter transmission affected the local field density, and it's increasing. We've got to move fast. Half hour at the most. Ooh, we have 30 minutes. If we miss? We couldn't get out of here in a century. <laughs> I'll be in the transporter room in 10 minutes. Nice, sir. Well, what's he gonna do for 10 minutes? Plane computer activity in the engineering section. Our security research is in progress. Who is conducting the research? Our captain and Mr. Scott. Program is classified under voice index. What if he just told him the truth what's going on and that he wants to switch back with the evil captain? I wonder what would happen. Ooh, pretty dress. I like that. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. I leave my traps, darling. I'm afraid I need a lot of practice. Very hard for a working officer to shine as a woman, and you demand perfection. Never seen perfection, but no woman could come closer to it. I remember when you used to talk that way. I still do. Prove it. I've got to go. Did the other Kirk used to be nice? I guess it's over. I'll call a yeoman to help me with my things. You don't have to do that. I've been a captain's woman, and I like it. I'll be one again if I have to go through every officer in the fleet. You could. I simply meant You're beautiful. that you could be anything you want to be. Make it out in an alternate dimension. It's been a long time since you've kissed me like that. You're a stranger. Mercy to the Hawkins, mercy to Spock. Who are you? To me. Am I your woman? You're the captain's woman. Until he says you're not. She's gonna miss him when the bean guy comes back. Aura. Scottish signal should be coming through any moment. I've got a pretty good idea. Create a distraction. This is so cool. Woo, this music. The game has rules. You're ignoring them. I protest and you come back. You didn't come back. Now you're making sense. Of course, this isn't the time. You can't make out on the bridge. I changed my mind. Again. You take a lot of chances, Lieutenant. So do you. Oh boy. You don't mess with a hoorah. Knife in the boot. I have thigh high boots. I should keep a knife in them. Maybe now I'm seeing. <gasps> Tell the truth. The entire landing party. Captain, stand over there. It is time for answers. Oh, clocked him. The crew just fighting amongst themselves. Kirk versus evil Spock. Watch out for his Vulcan pinch. Well, I don't know about if he has that in this dimension. Jeez, he's kicking his butt though. He's really holding up his own against four people. Oh, clocked him on the head. Sheesh. Help me get him on the table. He'll die without immediate treatment. Come on, McCoy. We're taking a chance on not getting back home. He's a doctor. He can't just walk away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Forgot about this girl. What's she gonna do? Uh-oh. Oh, they should've won. Oh, crap. What is this, Mr. Solo? Mr. Spock has orders to kill you. He will succeed. You will also appear to have killed him. And he will be captain. A fierce battle. It will leave me in command. He's the most evil of them all. It's her. She's zapping them. Bada bada. Cool piano. Yeah, I got ten minutes. Look, you get out of the transporter room. Make sure it's clear. I'll be there in five minutes. Yeah, right. Uh-oh. Don't hurt him. He saved your Why life. The captain, let me live. Is he gonna hurt him? Judy just saved your life. Is he mind melting? Is he doing the mind melting? Minds are merging, Doctor. Our minds are one. I've not seen this before. I know what you know. So he's gonna know about the swaparoo. You saved us. Take me with you. Yeah, do it. Our power is balanced for four. There's no guarantee that we'll make it with five. Aww. All could die. Uh-oh. 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 I thought she had a gun behind her. If you kill us, you'll still stay. Oh, hurrah! Right. She had a knife boot, too. The power is cut, sir. They're onto us. The automatic setting is linked to the transporter main. Someone has got to operate the controls manually. The girl could do it. Get to the transporter chamber. You too, Hura. That's an order, Scott. He's such a good captain. 
I cut the transporter power. <gasps> to delay your beam out until I could arrive. Reactivate main transporter circuits. Okay, it's not like disabled forever. You're a man of integrity in both universes, Mr. Spock. You have two minutes and ten seconds. By that time, I have something to say. Your empire is illogical because it cannot endure. I submit you are illogical to be a willing part of it. One man cannot summon the future. But one man can change the present. Find a logical reason for sparing the Hulk and Captain, get in the chamber. What about it, Spock? The man must also have the power. Maybe he does want power, cabin, this Spock. Is a device that will make you invincible. Indeed. Hmm? What will it be? Past or future? Tyranny or freedom? It is time. In every revolution, there's one man with a vision. A hero. I shall consider it. I think he convinced him. Beam them up. Energize. We're back on the regular one. Woo. Thank goodness. Welcome home, Captain. He looks way better without the goatee. May I point out that I had an opportunity to observe your counterparts quite closely. They were brutal, savage, in every way. Splendid examples of homo sapiens. I found them quite refreshing. Liked them. I'm not sure, but I think we've been insulted. Yeah. Oh, she is there. Uh, Lieutenant. Marlene Moreau. I was just assigned last week. He shall have her. Now that he knows what she looks like in space lingerie. Met her before, Kip? Oh, no. We, we haven't met before. She just seemed a nice, likable girl. Mm -hmm. I, I think we could become friends. Or consorts. The end. Ba -ba -ba. Last episode, we started freaking right on a planet in the middle of the action. Let's do it. Definitely came from one of the solar Where's systems in this sector. Can you pinpoint it any closer, Lieutenant? All we got was the name Constellation. Then we lost it. Sensors show this entire solar system has been destroyed. Excuse me? Entering limits of system L374, sir. Scanners show the same evidence of destruction. Sir, I'm picking up a ship's disaster beacon. Oh, Try good. Razor, Lieutenant. Let's find out what happened. No answer, Captain. Sensor is not recording normal energy output. This is very curious. Cross, 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 Ooh. Something bad went down. Look at that. Ship may have been wrecked by whatever destroyed these solar systems. Maybe there's someone aboard. It's still intact, yeah? She was attacked. By whom? Red alert. Red alert. Manual battle stations. Space. The final frontier. These are the Such a good opening. The ship. This is a great theme song. Just so triumphant. All right, the doomsday machine. This is gonna be something. I'm still getting the distress beacon, but there's heavy subspace interference. Keep trying. Ahura could do it. All power plants dead. The entire bridge is damaged. The rest of the ship seems able to sustain life. Oh, someone's Radiation definitely out. there. Beam on. Go to yellow alert. Stand by battle oh, stations. Oh, stand by battle stations. We're going to board her. We're going to board. Yes! Energize. I thought the command was gold. Why is he wearing green? Please enlighten me. I just noticed that. He may have been wearing green in the last episode as well. I, I think I prefer him in green. He looks very handsome in green. What is going on aboard the Constellation? I've empty cups of coffee. Whatever happened didn't happen without a warning. Who wasn't abducted? They just left. Is it possible they were beamed down to one of the two planets? Oh, yeah, yeah. The surface temperature of the inner planet is that of molten lead. We'll continue our search, Kirk out. Kirk out. Coolest way. I'm ending all my phone calls that way now. Jen out. Computer system is still intact. We can play back the duplicate captain's log. Do it. <gasps> is it a body? Is he alive? <gasps> What's happened here? Space Needle. Kirk. What happened to your ship, man? What the F is going on here? Attack, that, that thing. What thing? What was it? What happened, man? From a minute, he's in a state of shock. Yeah, he looks insane. We tried to contact Starfleet. No one heard. No one. What happened to your crew? Yeah, where are oh, they? I had to beam them down. No power or phasers, useless. I stayed behind. That's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Are they all dead because they went to that planet? What attacked you? They say there's no devil, Jim. Right out of it. Hell, I saw it. Matt, where's your crew? On the third planet. There is no third planet. Did he beam them to nowhere? Don't you think I know that? There was, but not anymore. Thank me, Graham. 400 of them. I... I couldn't. Because <laughs> his transporter was broken? 400, yikes. Something crashed through the deflectors and knocked out the generators. The antimatter in the warp drive pods has been deactivated. 
Could some kind of energy dampening field do that? Would the same type of thing account for the heavy subspace interference? It all adds up. What sort of a thing could do all that? A doomsday machine? The whole thing's a weapon, it must be. What does it look like? It's miles long, with a maw that could swallow a dozen starships. It destroys planets. Well, what is it? What is it? An alien ship, or is it alive, or is it both? We saw this thing hovering over the planet, slicing out with a force beam. What kind of a beam? Anti-proton. Absolutely pure. Anti-proton? Kirk here. Walk here, Captain. What about the Constellations tapes? She was attacked by what appears to be a robot. Oh. An automated weapon. Its apparent function is to smash planets to rubble and then digest the debris for fuel. Oh boy. When Mr. Sulu has computed the path of the machine. We find that it came from outside. What is the projected course of this thing? It will go through the most densely populated section of our galaxy. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. A machine like that, who would build it? That's a good question. I didn't even think of that. Who built it? Alien rights, apparently from another galaxy. But why? Enemies. Did you ever hear of the doomsday machine? No, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. <laughs> Never meant to be used. So strong, it could destroy both sides of the war. Somebody used in a war uncounted years ago. They don't exist anymore. But the machine so is still destroyed. Going. <gasps> Whoa. So, like, can it be stopped? Beam Dr. McCoy and... Commodore Decker on board immediately. Energize. Red alert. Uh oh, red alert. What's this? Is it the robot weapon? Is that it? Ooh, that looks evil. Uh, directly. It's like a big mouth. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. We are more maneuverable, but it is gaining on us. We have to stop it. If it's a robot, what are the chances of deactivating? I would say none, Captain. None. I doubt we could maneuver close enough without drawing the direct attack upon ourselves. It's closing on us, Mr. Spock. All right, lower your deflector screens long enough to beam us aboard. Stand by to beam landing party aboard. Ready to beam, sir. Frig! Mr. Spock, the transporter's up. Captain, we've been attacked. We're taking evasive action. Just like the other ship, transporter's damaged. Damaging communications, Captain. Are they gonna get stuck there? Oh crap! We're stuck. Well, we just can't stand around while our ship is being attacked. I can't repair warp drive without a space dome. Then get me impulse power. Anything. If we can get this Hulk moving, maybe we can do something. This Hulk. Washburn, you get in there. Let's see what we can do about this view screen. Got to find out what's happening out there. It's veering off. Back on course for the next solar system. Why? The Rigel colony, sir. You can't let that thing reach Rigel. Millions of innocent people would die. But we are only one ship. Our primary duty is to survive in order to warn Starfleet. Our primary duty is to maintain life and the safety of Federation planets. This is interesting. It's it's human versus Vulcan, Captain-wise. We will weigh in an evasive course back to the constellation. Spock's in charge. 180 degree turn. Hard You're not about. in charge. We're going to attack. You're not in charge, man. I am officially notifying you that I am exercising my option as a Starfleet Commodore and that I am assuming to take command, command of the, of the ship. Like, now he's captain. I would advise against it. You tried to destroy it once before, Commodore. The result was a wrecked ship and a dead crew. That's logical. He's right. We were too far away. This time, I'm going to hit it with full phasers. Sensors show the object's hull is solid neutronium. A single ship cannot combat it. I mean, Spock would do that if it was logical. You have been relieved of command. Come Don't on, force dude. me to relieve you of duty as well. You should tell Kirk what's going on, although Kirk can't really do anything. Can Kirk have any authority if he's off the ship? Meanwhile, on the crippled constellation. Captain, the impulse engine's control circuits oh. are fused solid. We can cross-connect the controls, I... but it'll make the ship almost impossible to handle. Worry about your miracle, Scotty. I'll worry about mine. Get to work. Oh, he can handle her. Deflect those shields at full power. They can't take much more of this. Hold your course. Stand by all phaser banks. We must retreat, Commodore. The energy drain. I'm in command here. Dude, listen to him. He's logical. If anything, the Vulcans should be making all the decisions, because they just do everything that makes sense. Like, how often do Vulcans make mistakes? Scotty, how you doing? Should have some power for you soon. But they don't act right on now, emotion, unless they're horny. <laughs> The devil's going on. Did you see what the devil's going on? Oh yeah, now he's just seeing what's going on. It's doing nothing. Literally nothing. Just all stuff. Yeah. I urgently recommend immediate withdrawal. Agreed, abort. Maintain course. Enterprise, come in. Yeah. What Enterprise, the devil are you Spot doing down there? Scotty, where's that power? Coming, sir. Sir, deck seven reports power failure in main energizers. Frig. Severe 
casualties on decks three and four. Plus severe two. casualties? Dude, F aboard. It has ceased fire. We're being held in a tractor beam. Like a like We're being pulled inside, Commodore. Aw, frig. I do kind of want to go inside. Don't you understand? We've Don't got to you. destroy it. That, sir, is illogical. Yeah. It is su attempted suicide would be proof that you are psychologically unfit for command. Uh-huh, yes. I shall relieve you on that basis. Right. Fair. They're off. Emergency impulse power. Add a boy. We need more power. We need more power. So we inside. Oh boy, we're going inside. This is a good one. I like this one. I like them all. Scotty, give me that power. You've got it, Captain. Just enough to move us. I can't do better. Let's go, boys. Full ahead, Mr. Scott. All ahead, full. Oh, oh, the maneuvering is going to be tricky. Go, boys! Come on! That's it, Mr. Scott. Keep the power coming. Nice and easy. Maybe that thing will see us. Let the Enterprise go. He's so brave. Why it just we? looks like a fiery chasm of hell in there. We're loose, Commodore. Of the tractor beam? Nice! I think it's great. Scotty, get us out of here. It's closing fast on the constellation. Mr. Just Kirk pulled us out of there by distracting it. Now it's our turn. Fire phasers! Fire phasers! Do the phasers even do anything? It's sucking in space rubble from those destroyed planets. Refueling itself. Then we'll have to fight it now before it gets any stronger. This guy's Illogical. nuts. We must transport the captain and the others and escape this thing in order to warn Starfleet Command. Yeah, I, I think that's right. I've got ship to ship communications back. Oh, good. Up captain Kirk. Yes, yes, yes. Enterprise. Mr. Spock, I am still in command. Why is he still in command? Enterprise to Kirk. What's going on? Have you, you Mr. taken Spock? over? I'm in command here, Jim. I assumed command according to regulation. You're the lunatic who's responsible for almost destroying my ship. Correct. I'm speaking to a senior officer, Kirk. Oh, this guy's a jerk. He's been through a lot, but he's acting like a jerk. Mr. Spock, ship status. Deflector shields down. Transporter under repair. How long to repair warp drive? At least one solar day. It's gaining on us, sir. What the heck are they going to do? Action, Mr. Sulu. I am in command here, and I will give the orders. We are going to turn and attack. Not with my ship. Mr. Spock, relieve Commodore Decker immediately. That's a direct order. I order you to assume command on my personal authority as captain of the Enterprise. I don't know. Is he allowed? You are relieved of command. That's not going to go over well, I that... don't recognize your authority. They're going to have to put him in the brig or something. I do not wish to place you under arrest. He's going to have to. There. You're bluffing. He is Opens not. Never bluff. I do not believe that they do. Unless it is logical, maybe. Very well, Mr. Spock. The bridge is yours. Yes! Ba -ba -ba -ba. As it yeah, should be. Mr. Montgomery. Sir, you will accompany the Commodore to sick bay. Commodore? Hope he doesn't make trouble down there. Captain, we are taking an evasive course back to you until we can transport you aboard. Just make sure you stay ahead of it. Kirk looks handsome. <laughs> oh, man! Get him! Come on, Red, your security! Use your training! Don't they have a stun gun? Isn't that this? Sanger Phaser's a stun? Stun him! Frig. What's he gonna do now? Is he gonna go rogue and like sabotage? Is that what's his face? Did he just take a, a someone's opening the shuttlecraft bay doors? Yeah. Took an escape pod. Where's he going? Just back to the monster by himself? Enterprise to shuttlecraft. Come in, shuttlecraft. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Decker here. I must insist that you return to the ship. There is no way to blast through the hull of that machine, so... Is he going in? I'm gonna take this thing right down his throat. Matt, you'll be killed. I've yeah. been prepared for death ever since I killed my crew. The commander is responsible for the lives of his crew. I should have died with mine. I think he's gonna do it. He's gonna fly into the mouth and explode it. I think it might be the only way. You're a starship commander. We need you. Your experience, your judgment. Yeah, dude, you just need to rest for a while and then you'll be fine. He's gonna do it and I think it's gonna work. I would be closing my eyes at this point. I thought he was gonna like bring a bomb in there and explode it. No, he just flew into the mouth for no reason. Dude, why? He should have at least bombed it from the inside. Sir, may I offer my condolences on the death of your friend? It's most regrettable. It's regrettable that he died for nothing. Agreed, yes, exactly. Sensors indicate a minute drop in the machine's power emanation. Maybe he screwed something up in there. Do you think the shuttlecraft explosion might have done some damage? Drop in power is definite, Captain. Ooh. Negligible. Mr. Spock, the transporter is now operational. Transport oh, can they get them back? Captain. Shall we beam you aboard? He's gonna say no. Negative. But why? Is he gonna do the thing the other guy did, but go in with a bomb? 
Sparklers. He had the right idea, but not enough power to do it. Am I correct in assuming that a fusion explosion will result if a Starship impulse engine is overloaded? Will it be powerful enough to destroy that thing out there? Its hull is pure neutronium. There is no known neutronium. way of blasting through it. Not through it. From inside it. Will it be enough? I shall try to take further sensor reading. Do the best you can and make it fast. I think it will work, but can they beam him back off, like, right at the last minute? Can you set the ship's impulse engines to overload? Aye. I want you to rig a 30-second delay detonation device and rig it so that it can be blown from up here. Right away. Right away. You're getting dangerously close to the planet killer. I intend to get a lot closer. Oh, boy. He's going in the mouth of the beast. What about the detonator? It's armed now. Armed and ready. Press this one. 30 seconds later, poof, once it's activated, there's no way to stop it. Preparing a beam, Scotty, on board. Good luck, Captain. Good luck, Cap. Are they having trouble with it? Oh. What's the matter with that thing? Yeah, it didn't work normally, right? A, it'll never work like this. It's the main junction circuitry. Transporter is out, Captain. You'll have to stand by. Power level's dropping too fast. You'd better hurry. Mr. Scott, speed is of the essence. Scott is the MVP of this episode. None of this would be possible without everything he's doing. Red, transporter operational. He's got to come off now. I'll stand by here. Transporter operational, but just barely. It's janky. Get on here. 500 miles and closer. Go now. It's go, go, go. You don't have to wait. It's going to keep going. Armed. We have 30 seconds. Energize. Energize. <gasps> Dude. Beam me aboard. Uh, uh, any now, second now. Mr. Scott, 20 seconds to detonation. Kirk's about to get blown up here. Oh, Scotty's in the weeds. I mean, I know Captain Kirk can't die, but I don't know how he gets out of this. Um, um, 60, um, 50, any 50, second now, guys. Oh my god. Fire now, Mr. Kyle. I know, guys! Okay, 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 they got him. Well, that was at the absolute last second. Jeez, the show is tense. Phew. Welcome aboard, Captain. Sensors show all energy sources deactivated. It's quite dead. It's quite dead. Well, Matt he gave his life in an attempt to save others. Not the worst way to go. I can't help wondering if there are any more weapons wandering around the universe. Oh, I'm sure that there are. I found one quite sufficient. The end. Well, <sighs> that was close. All right. Space Station K7. Now I'm excited. Sense. How close will we come to the nearest Klingon outpost? Klingon. Close enough to smell them. I've heard Orders of it. cannot travel through the vacuum of space. Facts. I was making a little joke, sir. Extremely little, Ensign. <laughs> Spock was also making a joke. The Battle of Donner 25 was fought near here 23 solar years ago. Analysis of disputed area. Sherman's planet is claimed by our Federation and the Klingon Empire. We do have the better claim. Key points of dispute. One side must prove it can develop the planet most efficiently. Develop. Well, the Klingons are brutal and aggressive. They are most efficient. Mm, okay, they are most efficient. I don't know anything about the Klingons. I'm excited Perfect. for this. Captain okay. Subspace distress call. Priority channels. Scott one emergency. That's a disaster call. This is a red alert. Ooh, we got red alert. Ba -ba. Hit me with the theme song. Space. I can't not sing that song. It's too good. All right, The Trouble with Tribbles, a Klingon episode. Let's do it. Priority one call. Mm. It signals near or total disaster. Oh. We assume the Klingons have attacked the station. Oh, Klingons shoot. Armed for battle. Who armed for battle? I wonder what the Klingons look like if we'll see them. There's nothing there. Just Kirk the just looking handsome and green. Priority one distress call. It says absolutely peaceful. Very strange. This is Captain Kirk of the Enterprise. What is your emergency? This is Mr. Lurie, manager of KSEP. I must apologize for the distress call. State the nature of your emergency. He's kind of uh, pissed. Perhaps you better beam over. I'll try to explain. This is curious. You'd better be prepared to do more than that. Kirk out. Kirk out. Just wants him to beam over and won't give him any info? I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Energize. All right, what no in the devil's going on? Why did you issue up the stress call? Yeah. That was my order, Captain. With a sound. 
Captain Kirk, this is Niels Barris, charge of the development project for Sherman's Planet. I want all available security guards posted around the storage compartment. Storage huh? compartment? Containing the Quadro Triticale. The what? Wheat. So what? Not wheat, Captain. I wouldn't expect you or uh, Mr. Spock to know about such things. Quadro Triticale. Oh, he knows. Its root <laughs> grain, Triticale, can trace its ancestry back to 20th century Canada. Canada! I never thought I would hear Spock say Canada. And it's very important that that grain gift to Sherman's planet safe Klingon agents may try to sabotage it. You issued up the stress call for a couple of tons of wheat. <laughs> He's so bad. You summon the Enterprise without an emergency. You take full responsibility for it. Misuse of the Priority One channel is a Federation offense. Ooh. I did not misuse the Priority One channel. I want that grain protected. Couldn't you at least post a couple of guards? It would seem a logical precaution. Sherman's planet affair is of extreme importance to the Federation. All right, if Spock says do it, you got to do it. Kirk knows this. Enterprise here. <laughs> Secure from general quarters. Reluctant. Team down two and only two security guards have the report to Mr. Lurie. Yes, Captain. Kirk out. Kirk out. How dare you authorize a mere two men for a project of this importance? Sir, I have I'll never questioned the orders of any representative of the Federation. Until now. Is there more to it, though? I feel like there's got to be more to it. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, who is this? Mr. Check out. What do you make of this? Quadro Triticale. I've read about this, but uh, I've never seen any before. Does everybody know about the sweet but me? Yeah, apparently. I don't want any more spike and flame gem. I have something better. Who is Surely this? You want some Antarian glow water? I use that to polish the flame gems. I have something from the far reaches of the galaxy. Surely you want... Not a is it a lie? May I hold it? Oh, it's adorable. What is it, a little pet? I thought it was a dead pet. It's a triple. A triple! Like a puppy. Only the sweetest creature known to man. <laughs> it's purring like a kitten. Ladies Bank love kittens. Three. Transporting harmful animals from one planet to another is against regulations. This guy's a Triples character. No but he's gonna be trouble. Now I'll tell you this one. What's he doing? Hey. I'm thinking of it like a gremlin, like it's gonna... They get it wet and it makes more. All right, Uhura's got a kitten. I'm just gonna call it a kitten. I know you guys will probably hate that, but it doesn't seem to have a face. We'll call it a space kitten. It is not necessary to remind you of the importance of Sherman's planet. The shipment of it must be protected. You will render any aid and assistance which Undersecretary Barris may require. The safety of the grain and the project is your responsibility. They are taking this Sir, really seriously. Oh, that's just... Lovely. He's so mad. <laughs> ah, that's just lovely. Captain Kirk, sensors are picking up a Klingon battle cruiser. Got a red alert. Notify Mr. Lorry. We'll be right up. Here we go, Klingons. Ba -ba -ba. Mr. Lorry, there's a Klingon warship hanging 100 kilometers off your station. I don't think the Klingons are planning to attack us. The captain of the Klingon ship is sitting right here in my office. Well, there they are. I didn't know if we would be seeing the Klingons. Okay, yay, yay. My dear Captain Kirk. My dear Captain Kola. As I've already told Mr. Lorry. The sound the on this ship. Here it's is like a sound bowl. Sure, leave right. Under the terms of the Organian Peace Treaty, you cannot refuse us. Yes, well, I don't make those decisions. Captain, I may I speak to him? I don't want them here, but I don't have the authority to refuse. Well, I have the authority to act. I'm going to use it. Bring your men down on Shawley. But only 12 at a time. For every man you bring down here, I shall have one security guard. There'll be no trouble. Oh, there definitely will be trouble. <gasps> Maybe they are like gremlins. This morning I found out that she had had baby. Oh, yep. It's going to be like a gremlin situation. Did you get this at the space station? Most curious creature, Captain. It's trilling seems to have a tranquilizing effect on the human nervous system. Sure does. Fortunately, of course, I am immune to it. <laughs> yeah, right. When my kitties purr, it's like the most soothing thing. Did you guys choose this episode for me because you knew I would think the Tribbles are cute? Can I offer you a charming little Tribble? No, thanks. Perhaps one plenty. of you other gems? Ah, friend Klingon! They don't like them. Get it away from me. Is it like a weapon I against them? Get out of here with that parasite. Hates it. Oh my gosh. Huh. How would you like to enter another little transaction? A triple for a spot, a triple. One triple for one shot. Oh, they're infesting. Infesting. Oh my. Okay, wow. The earth is like those fuzzy things. <laughs> I never liked Earther. They remind me of regular blood work. How dare you? Oh, there's going to be a throwdown. I just remember a regular blood worm, soft, 
shape, but Kirk isn't soft. Kirk may be a Is that an insult? He's getting mad. Easy, lad. Forget it. It's not worth fighting for. We're big enough to take a few insults. I like him. You drink, you drink. See, he's a real man. We like the Enterprise. We really do. Yeah, right. That's sagging. Old rust bucket. <gasps> oh, now you're talking about his ship. All right, time Mr. to fight. Scott, laddie. Nobody talks shit about the Enterprise. Don't you think you should rephrase that? Before you get a knuckle sandwich. I meant to say that it should be hauled away as garbage. That's it. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. You asked for it. Oh, he can punch while well, he's a Scotsman. Okay. <laughs> that bartender. What's this guy doing? Just cleaning him out? So shady. Oh man, he was like solid. This is a good fight. This is one of the better fights I've seen. These guys are really going at it. <laughs> Don't spill my drink, okay? I hope someone knocks him over. Knock him over, knock him over. Nice, nice. I wanna know who started it. Who started the fight? They'll never rat on each other. All right, check up. You started it, didn't you? No, sir, I didn't. Well, who did? I don't know, sir. I don't know. They did. I wanna know who threw the first punch. That was Scotty. He's gonna, he's gonna tell him it was him. Scotty, not you. You were supposed to prevent trouble. Hi, <laughs> Captain. I who threw the first punch, Scotty. I did, Captain. You did, Mr. Scott? I knew you would tell the truth. What caused it? They insulted us, sir. Must have been some insult. Aye, it was. I feel like he's Chekhov kind of, to, but I kind of proud of you him. Why did Chekhov want to start a fight? Is this off the record? No, this they is were not. talking trash. Klingons called you a, a tin-plated, overbearing, swaggering dictator with illusions of godhood. They also compared you with that Denedian slime devil. <laughs> That's when you hit the Klingons. No, sir. You told us to avoid trouble, and I didn't see that it was worth fighting about. After all, we're big enough to take a few insults. Oh, what yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Of the fight? They call the Enterprise a garbage skull. That's over the line. <laughs> and that's when you hit the Klingon. Yes, sir. You hit the Klingon. <laughs> you can't quite the Enterprise, Not because they... This was a matter of pride. Correct. He loves Scotty. Restricted quarters until further notice. Grounded. Look at all these space curtain troubles. You seem to eat a great deal. I see no practical use for them. Prrr. I see no practical use for them. I don't know too much about these little troubles, but there is one thing that I have discovered. They are cute. I like them. <laughs> Basically. Better than I like you. They do indeed have one redeeming characteristic. They do not talk too much. Like I said, not you a chatter. Me, sir. I love how much clarinet is in this show. Okay, this is getting out of hand. But are they all like transfixed by them? Lieutenant Ubera, how did all these troubles get on the bridge? I don't know, sir. They do seem to be all over the ship. They sure are cute. Dr. McCoy, you want to see me, Jeff? They are consuming our supplies and returning nothing. Oh, but they do give us something, Mr. Spock. Sir, I know Jones says that a triple is the only love that money can buy. Just go and clean up the entire ship. Contact Mr. Lurie and tell him I'm beaming down. Have him find Cyrano Jones and hold him. Cyrano Jones. That's a good name. I do not think to warrant such severe treatment. This guy. Well, you must have realized what would happen. By removing the tribbles from their natural habitat, you have, so to speak, removed the cork from the bottle and allowed the genie to escape. Breeding animals is not against regulation. Only breeding dangerous one. Now, oh, if you'll excuse me. Well, I must be tending my ship for a while. <laughs> you have given free and complete access to this station to a man who is a Klingon agent. To whom are you referring? To that man who just walked out of here. Oh. Cyrano Jones. We have already checked on the background of Mr. Cyrano Jones. He's never broken the law, at least not severely. He has obtained a marginal living by buying and selling of rare merchandise. Spock's not suspicious. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have a ship to tend to. Au revoir. Au revoir. Spock is, doesn't seem to have any problem with Cyrano Jones, so... Yeah, I'm with Spock, as always. Okay, okay. The troubles have gotta go. A chicken sandwich. 
I want these things off the ship. I don't care if it takes every man we've got. I want them off the ship. That's the last straw. All he wanted was a dang chicken sandwich. The machinery, all right. And they're probably in all the other food processors, too. Probably through one of the air vents. There are vents of that type on the space station. And in the storage compartment. <gasps> oh. Are the triples going to eat all their valuable wheat? Yup. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is this episode trying to teach us a lesson about abundance, overconsumption, consumerism? You are responsible for turning the development project into a disaster. Mr. Well, Farris, I'll hold you in arms if you don't shut up. Oh. Huh? I think I've got it. All we have to do is quit feeding them. Now he tells me. Yeah, too late. Is dead. And so are these. They're dead? The logical assumption is that there is something in the grain. Bones, oh. the triples, the grain, everything analyzed. What do you want? An official apology. I expect you to assume full responsibility for the persecution of Klingon nationals. You've harassed my men. We'll see about that. But before I take any official action, I'd like to know just what happened. Who put the tribbles in the Quadro Triticale? What was in the grain that killed them? Good question. Before you go on, may I make a request? Get those things out of here. <laughs> they don't like him. Liked everybody. <laughs> the last time I saw one act this way was at the bar. What was in the bar? Klingon. Maybe he's the Klingon spy. They don't like Klingons, but they do like Vulcans. Mr. Barris, they like you. Well, there's no accounting for taste. Spy. They don't like you, Mr. Darwin. I wonder why. Bones? Lay it on us, Bones. Give us the science. It is all wrong. His body temperature is... Jim, this man is a Klingon. I wonder what Starfleet Command will say about that. What about the grain? Oh, yes, it was poison. Oh, then their tribbles saved them. Darwin, you have talk. All right, I poisoned the grain. Take them away. And the tribbles had nothing to do with it. I never saw one before in my life. Yeah, he's like, you friggin' weasels gave me up. Guards? Take them away. Captain Cola, you have six hours to get your ship out of Federation territory. That is not the last we'll see of the Klingons, I'm sure. Starfleet was able to divert that freighter. That means Sherman's planet will get its squadron for the Kaylee only a few weeks late. Oh, they will get it, okay. I don't see any triples around here. And you won't find a trouble on this entire ship. How'd you do that? Well, I cannot take credit for another man's work. Scotty did it. Oh, Scotty. had a boy? I used the transporter, Captain. Well, where did you transport them? Oh, Scott, you didn't transport them into space, did you? That'd be inhuman. I gave them a very good home. Where? I gave them to the Klingons, sir. Oh. If I transported the whole kit and caboodle into the air engine room, well, there'd be no triple at all. <laughs> you old scallywag. That one was goofy. <laughs> Right, we're in season three. Recording. He shows indications of increasing tension and emotional stress. Oh, McCoy doing the update. I can read your theoretical evaluations. Do not tally with mine. Grumpy. Okay, okay. The scan of the reason. Or is it becoming too much for this crew to present me with current information? What is his problem? I can find no reason, except possibly that we've been on patrol too long. It's got the space madness. Hmm. Maintaining course and speed, sir. Course, come about to 185. <laughs> What is that, not good? Directly into the Romulan neutral zone. Yeah, it's very perceptive. What is going on? He knows he's not supposed to go there. He's very, very into not going there. Okay, has someone taken over Kirk's body? What's going on? The Enterprise incident sounds dire. Yeah, something is up with Kirk. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Leaving neutral zone. Ba -ba -ba. Romulan space. We're right in Romulan space! When did the order come through? The order to enter the neutral zone. There's been no order. Yeah, what's he doing? Declare him unfit. Get him checked out. Uh oh. That's a Klingon ship. More Klingons. I just watched an episode with Klingons. Couldn't be not in this area. The Romulans now using Klingon design. Man battle stations. Oh, battle stations. Well, you only have yourself to blame. Does appear. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Correction. Three. This is not good. We are surrounded. Is this a dream? Is this a dream? Ba -ba -ba -ba. What is going on? Wow. Space. Ba -ba. Enterprise. Enterprise. To explore I love this opening. Ah. Hey, it's uh, blue. It was yellow, wasn't it? I think it was. Ah. Let's do it. All right, something's wrong with Kirk. 
I'm starting to suspect an imposter. The Enterprise incident. What is wrong with Kirk? Advise them of our situation. Include all log entries to this point. We drove ourselves into trouble. I'm receiving class two signal. Put it on the main viewing screen, Lieutenant. Oh. James. You've seen this guy before, right? Or someone similar? Surrender immediately or we will destroy you. Why, why did he want to go in there? They want something. True, Captain. Maybe they want spa. Ship they want. It would be a great prize. Hmm. Well, it's a very good ship. I'll blow it up. Who is that beside you? My first officer. Vulcan. Yeah, and they have some connection with Vulcans. We give you one of your hours. We will be open to communication should you wish it. Starfleet Command has been advised. This message will take three weeks to read Starfleet. Oh. Ba -da -da. Ooh, cool spinny screeny thing. I believe the Romulans have developed a cloaking device. If so, the Romulans could attack before we knew they were there. They caught us right enough. Do you have any other helpful opinions? So ticked off. We can fight, or we can destroy the Enterprise, or we can surrender. They're not going to surrender, are they? If the Enterprise is taken, they'll know everything there is to know about a starship. If we had not crossed on your order, uh -huh, uh -huh. it would never have had to be made. I agree. I'm always with Spock. You ordered us. Dismissed, Doctor. Dismissed. What is his problem? Something is wrong with him. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The Romulan vessel is signaling again. They want to parlay. My commander wishes to speak with you and your first officer. In person. Board this vessel. Yeah. Two of my officers will beam aboard as exchange. An exchange. What guarantee do we have? You are the ones who violated our territory. They did? What? Simultaneous exchange. Do it, I, I guess. We're beaming aboard. Energize. Ba, 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 ba. If we do not return, the Enterprise must not be taken. Blow it up. Destroy yourself. All right, beam them over. Energize. Energize. Simultaneous energize. Are they just going to take them hostage? Ba, 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 ba. Is it a lady? Captain Kirk. A lady Romulan. Well, Kirk can use his charms on her. You are the first officer. Spock. Man of few words. You may wait outside. A violation of treaties. Yeah, explain. Why? Instrument failure caused navigational error. He's lying. By your ships before we could get back. Instrument failure went unnoticed until you were... She doesn't buy it. Accidents can happen. But I doubt if it will clear you of espionage. We were not spying. We were there. Captain, to spend... now listen a to me. Romulan vessel ventured without good explanation. What would a star base do? I'm not happy with that explanation. This is tense. The captain has made his statement. And it was a lie. I understand. Some surprise on seeing you. We were not aware of Vulcans aboard. She knows him? Or just knows that he's Vulcan? Your situation appears most interesting. Our forebears had the same roots. Mm hmm and appreciate the Vulcans, our distant brothers. I see. I same eyebrows. Vulcan integrity. And logic. There's a well-known saying that Vulcans are incapable of lying. Uh oh, she's just gonna ask him. Then tell me, as a uh -oh. what uh -oh. was your mission? Uh oh. I reserve the privilege of speaking. It is unworthy of a Vulcan. That is unworthy of a Romulan. It is not a lie to keep the truth. Then there is a truth. You've been told everything. There's nothing else to say. There is Mr. Sparks. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna say. You deliberately violated with a blatant. I mean, she knows. Well, these Romulans are certainly emotional. There is no force that I can use on a Vulcan. Not even the pinch. But there are Romulan methods against humans. Mm-hmm. prove ineffective. Then they will leave him dead, or what might be worse. But Tortured? No. I cannot allow the captain to be further destroyed. He has not been himself for several but, uh, years. I believe he has lost the capacity for rational decision. Uh-huh, yeah. No secrets. Now this is the truth. He can't lie. Our rapid capture demonstrates his foolhardiness. Don't lie. I say now. What the F is wrong with, with Kirk? Kirk ordered the Enterprise across the neutral zone. I kill you! Threatening to kill Spock. He is not sane. He's lost his mind. He's got the space madness. Pop. Commercial break. But what, how? The USS Enterprise is formally charged with espionage. Testimony of First Officer Spock confirming this intrusion. Oh, 
She just ratted on Spock. Your ship was not under orders. It was Captain Kirk who was solely responsible. Therefore you what? Be held responsible. I am ordering you follow the Romulan flagship. You will there be processed and released. Captain Kirk will be held in confinement. We're not really going to go to the Romulan base, are we? There's no way they're going to do that. Put our two Romulan hostages in a brig. There's no way he's doing it. Ship. He's gonna say, no way, Jose. This is Lieutenant Commander Enterprise. Nice. No orders except those of Captain Kirk. Oh. You make any attempt? He's so proud, even though he's crazy. Did you hear that, you coward? You've betrayed everything. Take him to the security room. We need to figure out what is wrong with Kirk. A Vulcan among humans. I would think the situation would be intolerable to you. My mother is a human. Do you call yourself Terran or Vulcan? Vulcan. Mm -hmm. He does, that's right. How long have you been a Starfleet officer? 18 years. Wow. You like your shipmates? He is irrelevant. But you are subordinate. My duty as an officer is to obey him. You are a superior being. Why do you not command? Or is that's a good question. Has offered you that opportunity for someone with your capabilities? I mean, he's, he could be a captain. Opportunities are made. I will see to that. She's going to say, if you join us. That thought has occasionally crossed my mind. Really? He doesn't thirst for power, though. You must have your own ship. Commander, shall we speak plainly? Yes, let's. You want the Enterprise. It would be a great achievement for me. It would be the achievement of a lifetime. And it would open equal opportunities for you. to Dr. McCoy. Kirk is effed. We need you. You must beam aboard the Romulan flagship. I don't make house calls. It's Captain <laughs> Kirk. Yeah, what is wrong with him? Let's go. You'll recover, but you'll need further attention. Inform your superior. Inform me what is wrong with him. I'll expect you for dinner. Oh, really? I mean, he's tempted by this offer, I think. Unless he's just messing with her. Will you join me for dinner? I am honored, Commander. Like, romantically? Corridor is forbidden, but loyal Romulans. I shall obey your restrictions. I hope that one day there will be no need. It would be illogical to assume that all conditions remain stable. Is he just trying to like infiltrate or does he really like her and want to join them? I wonder what's down that corridor. McCoy. Look at him, he looks crazy. Captain Kirk's condition. Effed. Mentally depressed, disoriented. Then by yeah. your own standards, mm -hmm. could this incapacity have afflicted him earlier? He was and is unfit to continue in command. That duty has now fallen on you. I am ready. Spock, I don't believe it. I don't believe this either. The matter is not open for discussion. This has to be a plan. Kirk, what's wrong with you? Now the paramount issue. He'll train you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Vulcan face grip. So strong. What did you do? What did he do? The Vulcan death grip. The Vulcan death grip? Your instincts are still good. The captain is dead. Excuse me? What's going on? Is this a dream? Is this a plan? What is happening? Pop, 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 pop. I am alarmed. Well, he can't be dead. He's Captain Kirk. Although we're in season three. I don't know. Maybe he does die. I don't know. Oh boy. <sighs> Okay, all right, he's alive. Jeez. Spock gave him a nerve pinch to simulate death. Oh. Spock were operating under Federation orders. What? Okay, so it was like a plan to get onto the Romulan ship. Is this true? Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Kirk, I thought for a split second there that we might have lost you. They wrote you off the show. I don't know what happens in season three. That's the Balkan death grip. There's no such thing as a Balkan death grip. Oh. Fool me too. The crew is concerned. I'm still dead to keep the Enterprise and the Federation off the hook. So that if anything went wrong, you would be the one to blame. I want you to prepare for surgery. On whom? Mr. Scott, will you report to sick bay? I can't leave a bridge at a time like this. Mr. Scott, please. It better be important. Scott out. Scott out. I do like seeing Scott as the captain just for like a second. What's so urgent that- He's alive! Oh, what is happening? Captain Kirk. He's been vulcanized. You look like the devil himself. What's it all about? What's it all about now? I'll need a Romulan uniform. It'll be a pleasure. <laughs> he loves it. I love a good plan, I do. Whew, 
He's not as handsome when he's uh, looking Vulcan Romulan-y. All right, so he's playing her. I've had special Vulcan dishes. So we can lie. Suppose it's not a lie if it's an order. Recruiting inducement. We have other inducements. She is into him. What's delaying him? He's tied up with the lady. Scotty, are you sure we have a clear channel? Prepare to beam me aboard. But Mr. Spock hasn't set the proper coordinates. Energize. That's risky. Energize. I believe in you, Scotty. Nailed it. Centurion. Return to your duty. Thank you, Centurion. He's got that air of authority. No questions. Nicely handled, Kirk. Now, is she feeding him some kind of potion that's got him all messed up? You have nothing in Starfleet. We offer you an alternative. Baba. We'll find a place for you with me. She is women are definitely into him. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. She wants to get it on. People are warriors, but we're also many other pleasant things. Like lovers. As a Vulcan, you would study it. As a human, you would find ways to appreciate it. I wonder if he would. Please believe me. I do appreciate it. Now, one final step. You will lead a small party of Romulans aboard the Enterprise. Yeah, this is what she really wants. And you will lead the ship to a Romulan port. Mm -hmm. a flagship at its side. But not just this moment. An hour from now will do even better, will it not? Commander. Are they going to hook up for one hour? You do know I have a first name. Does she? I to wonder. Would you like to hear it? How rare. I want to know what it was. A soldier will transform into a woman. No way are they gonna hook up. No way. No way. He's there on business. We about to see some Romulan lingerie here. Spark the Captain Kirk. <laughs> the bird is in the nest. I'm already on board, Spark. Do you have the information? Cloaking devices in an area near the commander's quarters. Oh, all oh. All but authorized personnel. I'm receiving an alien transmission from within our vessel. I must know the source. I must know the source! Will you be able to get back to the Enterprise without attracting their attention? Yeah. Unknown, Captain. Romule lingerie! Tire now more appropriate. How far is he willing to go? It should actually stimulate our conversation. Oh my. Oh my! That's probably as sensual as Spock gets. Centurion. Wow. I must see your authorization. Oh, there. I'm gonna freak out if they kiss. It's hard to believe that I can be so moved. But I too am moved. Is he really? I know it is illogical. Accept what is happening, even as I do. Come on. Ah, oh, come on! Not now. And damn it, not now. That is the Spock love scene we are going to get. We have intercepted an alien transmission. Located source. It's, it's from right here. Uh-oh, the jig is up. Sorry, baby. The cloaking device. Betrayed her. Well, she's probably happy they got interrupted now. That would have been twice the burn if they had uh, been messing around. The cloaking device. Oh, what are you doing in here? There's an enemy spy aboard. Drop your weapon. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Kirk for the win! Good kicks. Oh yeah, I guess it's this orb thing. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Energize. Energize. He got it. Can Spock get off? Heh, <laughs> pun. Not, not now. Nailed it. Well, it'll have to be hooked into our deflector shield control. We have 15 minutes, darling. We have 15 minutes! Ooh, that's clear in it. The cloaking device is gone. Search all decks. Now Spock knows. Mission complete. Commander. Spock, how could you? Be mad. I am quite sane. Why would you do this to me? He did kind of make a fool out of her. Played her for a fool. First officer of the Enterprise. She actually looks pretty hurt. I think she did fancy him. What is your present form of execution? What a question. Commercial break. Well, now they have to rescue him. 
captain's log. Commander Scott has less than 15 minutes to install. I believe in you, Scotty. I hope Mr. Spock can buy us the time we need. He sure can. Captain, your ears. <laughs> you look insane. Return to your stations. If they resist, destroy her. Baba. Execute. So he's just buying time. Painful and unpleasant. I demand the right of statement first. You understand. Romulan tradition. If she weren't so pissed, she'd think he was hot. No more than 20 minutes. Should take less time than that to find your ally. You will not die alone. Your best friend will die with you. Proceed, Commander Spock. My crime is sabotage. My crime is sabotage. <sighs> d -d -d go, Scotty, go! They couldn't do any of this without him. He's pivotal. I didn't even realize. Your new cloaking device is a threat. You state the obvious. There is no regulation of my statement. I could say whatever I want. This is almost up. Got him, sir. Nice. Check off. For my signal. Energize. I've got the device. Bless me if I know whether it's going to work. Oh, she'll work, Scotty. Scotty knows what he's doing. Beam him. Beam, Mr. Spock. Energize. Vulcan loyalty. Romulan Vulcan. Is she going to let it happen? Mr. Spock aboard, sir, and the Romulan commander. Yes, she beamed right with him. Warp factor nine. With the commander, warp it. Warp speed. The enemy vessel is moving away at extreme speed. Bring main batteries to bear on the Enterprise. Switch on that device. Dun, dun, dun. You will be dead in a moment. Lieutenant, <laughs> open a channel to the Romulan vessel. We have you under our weapons. We have your commander aboard. Hostage. Destroy this vessel. He'll do it. Stand by to fire main batteries. Scotty, we're running out of time. Yeah, any moment now, Scotty. As fast as I can. Your effort is being wasted. No, 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 this is gonna be fine. But it's tits. Stand by, phasers. They should commence firing 12 seconds. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't know whether our circuits can handle this. They're gonna have to. It's likely overload. Roll the switch. Throw it. Damn it, man! Cloaked. What? Not if you can't see them. Mm-hmm. They have the cloaking device. Compute enemy course from last position. Oh, they better do some evasive maneuvers. Cloaking device. That is handy. Do they just have that now? That's cool. Oh, hell. The cloaking device is working. Scotty! The sensors cannot track a vessel. What are they going to do with her? We'll let you off at the nearest Federation outpost. You are very generous. I will take my place as your prisoner. Spark will have the honor of escorting you to your quarter. They're just going to shoot her back. It is regrettable that you were made an unwilling. It was not intentional. Yeah, she did this to herself. And what did you want? She's still hurt. You underestimate yourself, Commander. We will learn to penetrate the cloaking device. Maybe they will wind up kissing. That you and I exchanged something more permanent. Like a sensual hand holding. It was your choice. It was the only choice possible. You would not respect any other. It will be our secret. Entering neutral zone. Back into the neutral zone. Sick bay to bridge. I'd like for you to report to sick bay. You're due in surgery. I'm going to bob your ears. Please go. They do not look aesthetically agreeable on humans. You are ugly, is <laughs> what he just said. <laughs> do you want to go through life looking like your first officer? Man. Yeah, let's get those ears off. Eyebrows back. Looks good on Spock, though. 